Oh, by the way, this movie is entirely in either blue or beige. What's that movie? Is it a hair? Alaska Lake, as she'll say, I haven't seen it. Hello, and welcome to the Haven't Seen It podcast. This is a podcast where we get people drunk on the show and they tell me about a movie that we haven't seen before. I am one of the hosts here today, Alanka Zach, with my co host, William Innes. Hello, hello. Guys, today on the show, we've got a very special guest, good friend of Will and I. Uh, this is Derek McGill. He is also a member of the KW Improv Troupe Laughs on Tap. Derek, welcome to the show. Hi, everyone. Uh, good to be here. So let's just get right into it, because wh- why not, right? Why not? Why not? <laughs> um, to start, though, let's talk about the drink. So we are doing a fishbowl style sangria. Spanish um, red wine sangria. Spanish mm-hmm. red wine sangria. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. What I've graded here is uh, what I call the Colosseum. So it's a Spanish red wine sangria with rum, mm-hmm. fruit. Why rum? Hmm? Why rum? White rum. With fruit. <laughs> what does that have to do with? <laughs> and inside the bowl, in all this liquid, we have um, we have some tigers. A horse, dollar store, a lion, a lion. We also a have little tiny a knight, little knight gladiator figuring, and, and John Cena. Yeah, to top it off, the, the main character of the gladiator movie, John Cena. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you're joking, but I can't be certain. Mm-hmm. For all I know, he is the main character. And, and housed around the fishbowl drink is a paper cutout of the Colosseum. Which was my idea, by the way. It was a great idea. It I honestly... Know, it, it, it took a long time to cut out these windows, as you'll see in time. a photo that we post. Yeah, so make sure you go on to um, the Haven't Seen a Podcast Instagram account so you can see our miraculous creation of the Colosseum. It's quite a, it's quite a feat. It's beautiful. It's kind of stained with wine. 10 out of 10 wine. There's like a lot of wine stains on it. Yeah, but that was Harvey expected. wine stains. Totally expected. Um, so flavor wise, I don't, Derek, I don't think likes the drink very much. I'm not a wine person is the thing. That's kind of why it's a thing for me, but I mean, I'm getting kind of into it because, you know, I like that sort of multi wine, red wine taste. I think I like red wine more than white wine. (laughs) I think you're becoming a wine person. We discovered discovered his preference. I hope not. There we go. (laughs) I can go to tastings and everything. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, Yeah. So then getting on to track here in regards Mm -hmm. to the film, The Gladiator. Is it the gladiator? Or is it gladiator? It's just gladiator. Just singular. gladiator. Okay. And Alenka, what do you know about this film? Right. Yeah. So mm. I know it's called Gladiator. Yeah. I guess it's in Rome. What could I deduce? I could say that you know uh, somebody's probably in a, not a cage fight, but uh, you know what? Maybe it is appropriate that it's Michael Cena because uh, is he not? A, is he a wrestler? Who is he? <laughs> I don't know who Michael Cena is. <laughs> Michael Cena is made up. Uh, John Cena is a. Who's wrecker. Michael Cena? I don't. Know, I think you're I think thinking, you're thinking of, of Michael, Michael Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> John who is Cena. also not in Gladiator. Okay, okay, that's fine. Who is he? He's a wrestler. John Cena is a wrestler. Great. Has nothing to do Has with Has zero Gladiator. things to do with that's this okay, movie. That's okay, but I still think it's appropriate because what I imagine this film to be about is Gladiator fights, maybe some chariot races in the Coliseum, which is round, could be it, based off our depiction with our holes cut out of the paper. Again, make sure you check out the photo on the Instagram account. <clears throat> it's almost like a cage. So could you argue then John Cena is a modern day gladiator? <clears throat> I, think I could... yeah, that's a fairly uh, astute deduction. There we go. So that's what I know about the film. Well, wow. Yeah. Well, Derek. Yes. When did Will. you first watch Gla- Gladiator? Uh, well, the movie. So the movie came out in the year 2000. Okay. I don't think I watched it until I was maybe in high school early high school maybe a little bit before that so yeah like around 2003 or 4 or something like that you went into high school in 2003 i don't remember when i was in high school i I think i I, I I started in 2007 i entered high school in 2005 i think that's what happened yes okay i don't know why this has to do with anything but yeah i've seen (laughs) gladiator back then a lot were you scared i was scared about when i saw the previews for gladiator i don't remember seeing previews when they showed like the masks of some of the gladiators, it actually scared me. And I, I thought it was like a scary movie. Really? Really? Yeah. What What do the masks look like? They wear, also gladiators wear masks? Some do. Yeah. I thought they were helmets. Like helmets, masks. Yeah, like it's more of a helmet mask sort of thing. I got scared 
there's a part where they the guy wears a mask and it looks like like a woman's face. Mm. I what? got scared of that mask. Yeah, it looked really creepy. Okay. And oh, like so I, I think I know the, I know the mask you mean. Where yeah. It's like he pulls it over his face and it kind of looks like a woman. Yeah. Yeah, like that's literally what <laughs> Will just said. But yeah. But yeah, like I watched the movie, you know, in high school or something, or like when I was younger, and I thought it was oh, it was a cool movie. Mostly the first time I saw it, I thought it was cool because of the all the action fights. Then as I watched it even more times, I was just really drawn to it and because it was, you know, very, there's a lot of good emotional parts and really, really okay. well structured and it gave me, a, 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 it, yeah, the their whole view on the afterlife in that movie is really what kind afterlife. of drew me into it. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, I anticipated this film to really just be an action movie. No, kind of. no this film, this film, this film is like height, it's like height of Russell Crowe. It is height oh, of yeah. Ridley Scott. Um, this one, the movie actually won Best Picture. Okay, in the year two thousand. In the year two thousand. Okay. Or two thousand one, I guess, would have been the Oscars. But Russell Crowe won Best Actor. Uh, visual visual effects Oscar. So I think Russell Crowe's lead. Russell Crowe is the lead actor. I thought it was Gerard Butler. No, that's three hundred. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very very I they were different similar. movie. Didn't win awards. No. No. Fantastic well, it's still movie. awesome movie. Still awesome. Have you seen that movie? I have seen 300. Okay. Mm. We can't add that to the list. Can't add it to the list, but oh, no. that's okay. I need to know what goes on in this film, I guess, because it's a lot more deep than I had originally anticipated. Yeah, how does this movie start? Then? This movie start. Movie opens uh, with Maximus, Decimus, and Meridius. Sorry, is that uh, that's Play- one person? That's not three people. Nope, one person. Maximus, Decimus, and Meridius, played by Russell Crowe, our main Maximus? actor. He is the main character Sorry, of this slower. story. Maximus, Maximus, Decimus, Decimus, Meridius, Meridius, Maximus, Decimus, Meridius. He is a Roman general. Seems a little bit much. Yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, it, it's, I mean it's the Rome, Romans are fairly I think they, extra. We, they, he is, <laughs> fairly it's extra. like us. We have a first name, a middle name, and a last name. Mm, I am Derek Cameron McGill. Although that wouldn't sound as good in a gladiator movie. Okay. My name is Derek Cameron McGill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he is the commander of a Roman uh, Roman army. Yeah, one uh, of the generals. Uh, commander in the north. Yes. So the Roman Empire. This is like height of Roman Empire taking over the entire world. Yeah, they're like expanding their empire. They're, they're, the film opens with a big battle. Yeah, so it opens with a battle. Opens in a battle. But it in, opens with. In Germany. Yeah, Maximus? In Germany, it, Was it Maximus? Maximus yeah. Decimus okay, He's I the general this. of the Roman army. They are opening with a battle. It's not a gladiator battle. It's an actual like war, war. seat, war battle. Oh right, because they're different. Gladiator battle is like one on one. Yeah, it's that's okay. for yeah. entertainment. This is real. Oh, this is like what? real, they real just ass fight war. For entertainment. Gladiator. Yeah, gladiators are entertainment. You're to right. Die? It is like WWE, except people oh, shit. don't I die in that WWE. Is a thing too. This is a really good thing that we got this John Cena action figure. I mean, it's it's a very nice parallel. Wow. To uh, so yeah, That's I would so say that WWE stars are modern day gladiators. I really they like totally that are. illusion that you made here. <laughs> um. Wow. Anyways, we open with a battle. Maximus is uh, helping defeat the Germ- Germanic force. Germanic. Uh, Germanic. Germanic. Germany. Germany. Germanic? Like modern day Germany, but like back then it yeah. was like, tribal. They were, like, tribal barbarians. German. Okay. German barbarians, and they were you know. Oh their, right, because they would have been so long. Yeah. Ago. This is right, yeah. Okay, this yeah. is like uh, the I movie gives the movie gives you like one fifty AD. Mm-hmm. The movie gives you like a preamble, and like 150. before the movie starts, there's like a little title card with like yeah, Roman is, Emperor, Roman Empire. Which I always dude. find movies that start with title cards evocative of movies that aren't good or like. <laughs> oh really? Well, because a good movie should be able to tell you all this in the actual yeah, like movie, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. storytelling. But they right. told this via well, you the know, title card. Title cards. <clears throat> that is also probably just one of those things, like assuming the audience is stupid. Yeah, that, because yeah. we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, usually. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So uh, it actually, uh, if we're gonna be real correct, it actually opens up in a wheat field, and he's rushing. <laughs> oh his hand yes, 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 yes. You're right. And we're, okay. we we find out keep, over keep the keep a note of that. This is yeah. This is important. This is his wheat field. This is his home, and it's kind of his memories of home because he hasn't been home in like two years. It's like a, a hand walking through, gently grazing wheat as he walks through a field. So it's his wheat field. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 And I mean, it's a wheat field. We it's find probably out his days. home. It's probably okay. his farm. It's definitely his so farm, he's just say. he's actually like originally he's a farmer. 
Yeah. Yes, yeah, he's a farmer. So, that is yeah. a good there's thing. Actually That's a, a good thing to say. He's in, a Roman general, but he yeah. owns a farm where his family lives, his wife and his kid. Okay. There's a line uh, after the battle uh, where one of his one of his co-generals goes, Maximus the farmer. I can't even think of it. Yeah. Hmm. I can't imagine it. Interesting. By the way, they win the battle. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, this, it's this massive mess. It's like a huge. It's a great battle. Yeah. yeah this is, great this harkens battle. back to the, the film days of actually like shooting almost everything nothing was like cgi just mm-hmm. all the you know, all the trebuchets then, and all the shields yeah. and but then they also burned down like a whole forest uh, funny fact about that. that is like the like it was a forest that was actually scheduled for for deforestation and they got like they got the, they were like hey can we just oh. film in this forest and deforest ourselves at, as part of the film we're like mm. yeah go ahead no problem wow. so, so he wins the battle and we kind of learn about maximus through this these opening scenes we learn that he's uh, just a very honorable man. His, oh, all yes. his men, all his soldiers, like oh, yes. are super. Um, what's the word? Super uh, loyal to loyal him, to him mm-hmm. because uh, what happens? The battle is won, and um, uh, what's his name? Quintus. No, the, which one? Quintus. <laughs> Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Oh, shows uh, up. Richard <laughs> Harris. Uh, Max. Oh, sorry, Marcus Aurelius, the Marcus Emperor Aurelius. of Rome. Yeah. Marcus Aurelius. Okay. Caesar. He's Caesar. Marcus okay. Aurelius. The Dumbledore Real- means that it's Richard Harris, the actor who played Dumbledore in the yeah, first I two mean, Harry I Potter thank movies. Thank you. I get this yes. whole audience is stupid. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, he shows up at the end of the battle because he's Caesar and he's kind of like making Emperor. the rounds with his. He's at, he's Caesar. I'm Caesar sorry. is Emperor. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Caesar's so like said. a thing you Caesar call the emperor. The word. Yeah. Oh, is that yeah. right? Caesar's not just one guy. There's been many I Caesars. Know. Yeah. yeah, it's like you're Caesar. Sure. You're, yeah. You're so salad. He shows up and you know <laughs> everyone's bowing and Maximus is like they're bowing for you, Lord. And, and oh yeah, no, yeah, because they, they're like, like no, they bow. They for honor you, you Maximus. Maximus, and he has like a really gra- raspy like voice. Yeah, like, they honor you. Yeah. They honor you, Maximus. They honor you, Harry Potter. Yes, absolutely. I am dying, Maximus. Yeah. Okay, so then we gather that he's a very good guy, yeah. every mm-hmm. well liked. Yeah, he's cool. Well yeah, he's liked. a Mary Sue, basically. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Mary Sue? Is that just like a so vanilla would you like girl? To a character who can basically like do no wrong? Yeah, just okay. bypass and everything, and everything and just be really okay. the best. Person. But it's also not like like a flawed character at all. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's a big thing nowadays. We're like, oh, they're such a Mary Sue in this movie, and, and it's usually applied to no female conflict. characters. Yeah, yeah, it's usually applied to female characters in Star Wars. Now. Yep, oh, Star is that Wars right? and Arya and Thrones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, the battle is won. Um, yeah. Marcus, or, or so, and then we cut to um, uh, Commodus traveling with his sister Lucilla to the site of the battle. Yeah. Now, Commodus. Now, uh, fun fact, Derek has a very Commodus haircut going on right oh, yeah, now. Oh, yeah. There's no picture of it. There might be a picture of it in the, uh, I don't know. But check the comments for this podcast, and uh, we might post a picture of Derek's hair. Uh, yeah. That's debatable. I mean, it's <laughs> it's very bad. It's So do you want to let us know what happened? What do you mean? About the hair? Oh, oh yeah. yes. So my haircut currently, uh, it's not the greatest. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I may have asked my mom to be like, you know, hey, mom, can you maybe... Give me a bit of a trim up in the back of my head, you just because it get, it get, gets kind of out of control back there. And she was like, "Yeah, no problem." And she's done it before, and it's been okay. But this time, just something went wrong. Something went wrong. She uh, took out the 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 buzzer and uh, went a little too high, so it's really uneven back there. Well, not only that, but like it's uh, not blended at all. No. It looks like it she's kinda... not. She's definitely not professional in any yeah. sort of aspect. I mean, when I first saw Derek, I was like, oh, cool. He's got like one of those trendy cuts where it's like disconnected and like it's no. shaved. And then there's like a specific line that goes around. And I was like, cool. And then I looked that closer. That would have been cool. I looked closer <laughs> and I was like, that line That's is not, not what even. Happened. <laughs> this sangria is doing something to me. Hello, everyone. This is great. Hello, hello I can't everyone. Stop. I mean, I can't stop. welcome to the Shade uh, Derek's mom's podcast. Come on. I hope my mom doesn't hear this. I don't think she listens to podcasts. Even I don't listen to podcasts. Whoa. This is the first ca- podcast I've been on. I haven't. Oh I don't God. listen to podcasts. You, you know. Start. I mean, I, it's it's great that you guys can you know market to the whole the blind community because you know. Jesus. Okay. Isn't that who listens to podcasts? Just blind people? Yeah, yeah. That's because no. they can't see anything. <laughs> Not accurate. All right. Well, they won't see your terrible, terrible haircut. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. So uh, what? So we see. We then are introduced to uh, yeah, uh, Commodus, Commodus and, and Lucilla. Lucilla. They are the are, da- they are the daughter and son of Marcus Aurelius, the emperor. And Commodus is very very. 
all about I'm going to be the next emperor. Yeah, he's, he's a very be emperor because uh, he's getting he, old and sick. He's oh. super political about being an empire. Yeah, he's like, why would he be the next father? one? Because he's he's Marcus Aurelius's son, and okay. Marcus That's Aurelius right. is currently sick. Okay, okay, he's sick, and they they think he's going to die soon. And he's like, <gasps> he's going to announce his succession. And it's going to be me. Yeah. And when we're introduced to them and. So Commodus is played by uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Nice. And it's very Joaquin. clear he's fucking weird. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. What do you mean by that? Oh, he's weird. Joaquin uh, Phoenix. I mean, he's Joaquin, <laughs> uh, Joaquin Phoenix, great actor. But yeah, he did. He does the um, kind of incestuous a little bit. Yeah, he wants to fuck his sister. A little bit it's incestuous clear, there. Yeah. That was a thing, though. It's, Rome, and yeah. Earlier in the movie, it's fuck. not as clear. But then later in the movie, we'll it's get to it. It's pretty clear in that carriage ride right off the top. He's just like. Yeah, yeah. He's like laying in her lap or something. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's Rome, too. I mean, that, that probably that shit probably happened a lot. Yeah. It's kind of very Lannister-y. Well, didn't you? Yeah, you did whatever you wanted, right? <laughs> yeah, you I mean, yeah, if you were that rich and powerful, man, you woman, can just do Animals, all that pretty stuff. sure it was whatever you wanted. That's true. John Cena. John but they're, Cena. they're traveling in this, like, you know, one of those, like, carriages with, like, pillows and shit inside of it mm-hmm. to, to the battle site mm-hmm. to go see uh, the emperor and congratulate Maximus on winning the last unconquered area of the roman empire yeah. okay. and, and we and then we you know we see how commodus sees all the soldiers and maximus and he's he's got this tinge of <laughs> yeah. jealousy because he wants he wants oh, oh, loyalty maximus. out of those soldiers more than maximus oh yeah there's a, one line he says when he go, when he gets to the battle he's like have i missed it have i missed the battle and it's like dude it was over like three hours ago <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> so they're all reveling and they're all having a good time they're having a party okay. we also find out that like is there a bonfire by the oh, there? uh, there's, there's fires there's like torches okay. and shit no, but it's all tents. in a big tent basically but there's a i mean in the extended version of the film you get a you get a, you know you get a scene of maximus walking through the the camps and all the injured soldiers are there so there's like one dude without a leg and he's like walking through seeing all his injured soldiers and getting through that horror of things mm. then he walks into the tent where the, the senators the senators have been invited to this place as well yeah, the roman senators are the politicians the intelligent ones who do not fight yeah there's right. a there's a there's a political aspect to this film as well well yeah right? it's very like it's kind of like phantom the phantom menace right yeah i kind of think when you're doing some sort of history based movie yeah you kind of have to that's mostly what's recalled it's a period piece yeah. it's a parent piece mm-hmm. okay so yeah so um we also kind of get this kind of feeling from uh Lu- lucilla so, lucilla? lucilla is uh, lucilla the sister, that yeah. her and maximus once had a thing one had once had a thing they, they, a thing. they grew up together like, lucilla is the mind, sister maximus, of joaquin phoenix yes. yes okay keep in mind maximus does have a wife and a kid right now oh. but i think when they were like teenagers or something yeah. they used to have a thing okay because maximus was always a Roman part of the Roman like guard or whatever he was. Yeah, he grew up with. The, yeah, he grew up the, with all the Caesars. So the emperor was like a father to him. Okay. Yes. Cool. So yeah, we kind of see that. So we see the, we kind of introduce ourselves to basically, I would say like the main three characters, which is Maximus, mm-hmm. Lucilla, and Commodus. They are basically the main. Yeah, they're characters, pretty while other characters three solid are characters. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So uh, yeah, so uh, the emperor. Calls on Maximus to meet him in private. Yeah. And this is where the <laughs> conflict of the whole movie yeah, begins. Okay, good. Yeah. Right away. I like yeah, that. Yeah. So Marcus Aurelius, the emperor, um, you know, as everyone expects him to name expects him to name his own son as his successor, Maximus, or sorry, Marcus Aurelius uh, takes Maximus and announces to him that he wants to name him to succeed him mm. as the emperor yeah. of Rome. Mm. He believes Maximus is pure of heart and he believes he wants Maximus to take over until Rome is ready to be a republic again, meaning yes. a, a state that's run by the senators and run by the people, a, a mm. run by the people, not by an emperor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. But in true, you know, in true, in true honorable fashion, Maximus is like, I don't want it. Yeah. I and then, and then Richard it. Harris is like, that is why it must be you, Maximus. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That is why I am dying, Maximus. <laughs> And he's like, you are the tremendous son a- I never had. Exactly. Or I should have had. <gasps> yeah, oh, you son I should have. Tremendous acting from Richard Please Harris, by the way. Please tell me Phoenix was listening at that moment. No, 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 he wasn't listening. So, yeah, like Maximus obviously is like, you know, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be emperor. 
I want to go home and just be on my farm and be right. with my wife and kid. That's no, all he's wanted. Kidding. Yo, Mar- Marcus, Marcus Aurelius right? asks him, how long is it since you've been at your farm? It's and been he's like two years. Two years, 358 days, one something. I Hour. Like, like, he knows, like, wow. yeah. by he knows by the goddamn second how long it's been since he's been at his farm. Wow. So, uh, so Richard Harris, Marcus Aurelius, asks him that, and he's like, he gives them the night to think it over. Yes. Just the and night, then he, eh? Yeah, so then Marcus calls in his son, Commodus. <gasps> and he gives oh, him shit. the news. Does he, he kill him right there? Sorry. Go on. Continue! <laughs> he gives him the news. <laughs> yeah. And obviously, he's... Walking Commodus that. does not he's take mad. it well. No. He does he, not he saw, take it He talks it well. about how, he's like, one time... You get. You told me your yeah. list of the five virtues. Your virtues uh, that make up an emperor, and I noticed none of my virtues were on her list. Oh. So uh, he's all he's all crying virtues. and being a bitch. He's like, oh, I'm, I would just want to search the faces of the gods. And Richard Harris is like, <laughs> I should have been a better father to you. And they hug, and then my he fucking f- smothers yeah, oh, him. Is it, your false uh. as a son is my failure as a father. I forget. I knew he's gonna yeah. kill him. Yeah. So. Yeah. Commodus smothers his father. And it starts as a, it starts as a nice fatherly emotional hug, yeah. and ends with fucking, fucking killing, killing, killing Mr. Richard Harris. Damn. And there's a nice shot of like the statue of of Caesar watching his, his like statue. His like concrete eyes are watching. Yeah, his bust, like his concrete bust. That yeah, someone's yeah. Made from. Oh, it's really creepy. Okay. This is fun. I so like this kills- guy. This is fun. <laughs> I like this guy. So he kills um, he kills his own father. Oh, New so way. we have that scene, and then so and then we also have uh, a night scene where um Maximus is like getting ready for bed. His um, his squire, like his Quintus. assistant, basically Quintus. Is it Quintus? No, uh, no. Quintus Cicero. 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 Sorry, Quintus Cicero. is the the general, the loyal to Caesar. Yeah, yeah. So Cicero, uh, his like squire there, he's like telling the squire like we might not make it home after. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, no. He's got these little uh, wooden figurines, and it's a it's a mother and child, and that's his children. Oh, that's his family. That's so it's like little action, sad. his little action figure. We yeah. should have had those. In oh, the punch we should. Oh my yeah. god, you guys! <laughs> so he like so he prays at night for them and to, to return to them. I say yeah. Maximus is a religious person, yeah. religious a man. spiritual like spiritual you know, like yeah. I will meet my family yeah. again soon. Yeah, yeah. soon. And I you know I'll see you again soon. So that happens. Maximus is asleep. Yeah, he goes to um, sleep. Then he gets awakened by Quintus, by Quintus, by the guards, by the uh, Caesar's uh, Caesar's royal. Um, the, um, what are they called? The Praetorians. Yeah, Praetorians. Yeah. That's the name of the royal yeah. guard. And they bring him to uh, to Caesar's tent, and we see Commodus, and he says, "Our father <gasps> lament, is dead." Uh, lament with me, brother. Yeah. Our father. Our father is well, dead. Like our great Ooh. father. Like the Caesar yeah, is the great father. Of okay. All of okay. Yeah. And he's announcing it. What a yeah. little snake. Yeah. I know he's a fucking snake. He's telling yeah. Maximus, and he immediately is like, like, I hope that you I hope that you swear your loyalty me, to swear me. your loyalty to me. Oh, I know, he's I saying, know. So. he's trying to say, um, you know, I'm going to be Caesar I'm your now. emperor now. But Maximus knows, no, Marcus gave he me power. He named me. Right. And wanted Rome to be a republic, so. And Maximus immediately knows, like, the emperor was slain. He knows that fucking. And then like, this yeah. is where this is where honorable characters are fucking dumb shit stupid. <laughs> because he goes... That's not, this will not stand. No, and then he leaves. Obviously, he's, you know, Commodus is going to send his guards after him. So they fucking, they apprehend him. They yeah. left him and send him to death. Yeah, it's like, yeah, like Maximus is going with uh, like Cicero to, you know, to leave, to be like, just fuck off out of there because like their emperor is dead. And he knows but the like, truth. And what was he going to do? Then Quintus though? comes in and he's like, come with us, Maximus. Why are you armed? And then they take him. Yeah, they just take him. They're gonna go kill him. Maximus should have just like played nice and been like, "Oh yeah, I'll, I know." He just yeah, I'll he should have played and then played fucking the... stab him in the back later. But no, yeah. he has to immediately oh. go like, "No, I'm not." gonna What he should have done is gotten it in writing from fucking <laughs> yeah, Marcus yeah. Aurelius. Should have got a fucking contract. He got him a little write. He was writing a letter as he came to talk to him. Yeah, I know. So you yeah, know, he should have gotten always, a letter. Always get. If always you, leave an offer. Note. If you get always an offer, leave for, a note. Yeah, if you get an offer for a job, wait for the contract. Don't take that job until you get it in writing. Yeah. Yeah. Always lesson learned. So they take okay. him out to execute him, and there's a great scene because about uh, to, they're they're about to execute him. They're going to execute him just like a like a, a big slash across the neck, okay, and just cut his head off. Yeah, but he's like, at least give me a clean death, the death of a soldier, and which, which is like is, a weird. It's a different way to kill somebody where you plunge your sword into their like spine. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a yeah. It's not you don't chop the head. But off. But he did this purposely because and, yeah. he could you know he could knock the sword back with his head. What? And like, mm-hmm. and like, then he he knocks the other guy out, and then he gets the guy's sword. 
like he's only tied up here, so he grabs tied up by his yep. wrist, so he grabs the other guy's sword that he just knocked out. And then this other soldier's trying to get his sword, but he can't get out. Uh, out. He can't get it out. It's all wintry and stuff. And he goes, mm. "It's the frost. Sometimes the bl- makes the blade stick." And then he fucking oh. slices his face off. Oh yeah, that's a cool shot of the, the blade going right across his face. Ew. It was cool. So was cool. So Maximus escapes. We forgot about how when he was being kidnapped, when he was being kidnapped out of his camp, he was like, uh, t- uh, "At least take care of my family." And then Quintus is like, "Your family will see you in the afterlife." Implying that they're going to go kill his family. Yes. Uh, so he uh, so he is now, on, it's kind of montage He's it's on a very, horse. Yeah, it's like a traveling montage. Tra- like, so it, think about this, though. Like lightning this, in the sky. He's, and mon- like, he's montaging, nice. uh, traveling to, to, to his To get back to his farm. It's, like a, two, it's but, like a two-week journey. Well, he is in Germany. He's in Germany right now because uh-huh. they're in Germania. They're in that kind of German area. He's yeah. on horse going to Spain, like southern that's a, Spain. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a damn long journey. Well, yeah, yeah so, what else is he going to do? Yeah, I know. So he's journeying. Well, it would be the same amount of time to, for the for the Romanians. Oh, true, to, for true. The, for yeah. the, but they, the would, they obviously have a head start. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they would definitely. Oh, I'm stressed so out. He's journeying towards, and then we see. We in, see in, a, in this montage, we also see, you know, films of, uh, like, or shots of the, the royal Roman guard riding into Maximus and Maximus's farm. Yeah, oh. he's got this like big estate. It's a really oh, nice like. So it looks like a winery. Sad. It's beautiful. And we see his wife and son, no. and he's like Papa, no. and like running like, towards Papa, all the guys. Papa. And then no. there's this scene that I laugh every time I see it. <laughs> <laughs> really? So, so there's this big like laneway, right? Like trees, and it's like the entrance way. It's a beautiful farm. vineyard, like it's, and it's so gorgeous. And the boy's and running towards all these soldiers he's on like, the oh, horses because he thinks he's off. And the horse fucking like the horse like hits him an- right, an- like, annihilates the kid, just checks Shut him right on the up. shoulder, and the kid just he just falls onto the right ground. down, gets trampled. <laughs> and I laugh Shut so hard up. because why just, do you laugh? Because, it's so sad because that it looks so sad. It's so crazy that they they just have this quick shot of the fucking kid just go flying. Well, it's it's kind of one of those scenes. In slow motion, it's like yeah. it's like there's cuts in between, and like, yeah, he just gets body while his mother his is horse. like screaming behind. He's like, no! I just I I laugh because you just see this kid just fucking get. Well, that's horrible. I know that body sounds, slam. Don't yeah. I'm sorry. That sounds awful. I laugh. But, I yeah. Laugh. So basically, see? they ride into his uh, estate and kill oh his family. Oh my god. We, yeah. So they we it's implied they kill his family. We don't it's see it happen. You see someone get fucked. I mean, yeah, up. he probably yeah. died from that horse check. No that's kidding. Oh, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> you get kicked with a horse. You're, you're in the hospital. Yeah. You get a coma for sure. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I laugh at a child being hit by a horse, but it's kind of hilarious. Oh, I no. want to see that when we're done. I just want to see that. <laughs> that one scene. Oh, you yeah, should, I do. Do you watch the movies after we record these podcasts? Well, it depends on how well it's described. Oh, okay. <laughs> how are we doing? I want to see this movie. <laughs> yes! Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, he finally gets there and the whole farm's, like, burnt to a crisp. They've, like, mm. laid everything on fire. Yep. And then oh, Russell Crowe and, right. like, super amazing acting oh my god Sees it's so his great wife oh. and child you, you just they kind of pan up they at him on his knees crying and you see their feet the camera hung, pans up their, f- up. their <gasps> yeah. feet are home no. yeah. they're all burnt oh and charged god. and they're burnt and charged to a, to a crisp <sighs> yeah. and he's crying it's, and with a with a tremendous score by the way by hans zimmer and lisa gerard lisa gerard's doing the whole like you know the black hawk down like the Like the emotional like score of like thing. Lisa Gerard, by the way, tremendous female singer from Dead Can Dance in the eighties. On that note, I'm gonna get some more sangria. Oh yeah, sangria break. I love the dude. The the Gladiator soundtrack is definitely what kind of was a big well, part it ties of that it for together. me. Yeah. It, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Like, so wow. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, this journey. Oh, and um, he's been like. He's weary. He, he's literally yeah, Maximus no has water. A, he has a wound on his shoulder from and, the, oh yeah, from the pretty, Germanic, German, Germany battle. Oh, yeah. He okay. has a big, big untreated wound. So him. after he laments the loss of his son and wife, he, he basically just, he, pass pops, out. he passes out. He collapses on his farm. Yeah. Just, you know, oh my is God, just that's his left life. to die. Like, that's his all life wanted. is gone. Yeah. yeah. His life is basically just decimated. Mm-hmm. His stature. Maximus is, Meridius decimated. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Ma- no, Maximus decimated right. Meridius. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not what you were going for. That's the end of the first act of the movie, I would say. Yeah, that's the first act. That's the first the act okay. of the movie. Because, as wow. you notice, what haven't we gotten into yet? The actual gladiator battles. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, baby. Oh, honey. All 
right. Act two, babies. Maximus is passed the fuck out. He's passed right. the fuck out. It's yeah. like smoking barn now, remains everywhere. Now, I can't remember. Or do we immediately have him wake up or, or do we cut to no, we, we have, There's entrances. like a shot of like, you know, feet walking behind Maximus's passed out head. Just yeah, like yeah. little blurry, oh, yeah, yeah. blurry feet. Huh? They do this cool shot so, where he's like floating on the ground moving. Oh, I love that A couple shot. different times. Sorry? But he's being like carried. But they So do it's it a shot a... of Maximus's passed out face, but like behind him is the ground moving. Okay. 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 I got you. Yeah. Because it's almost like. He's because. Like moving, so Maximus floating. has been picked up by a traveling. Uh, slaver, slaver, basically. yeah. It's a he's oh. a slave trader, yeah. Who wow. is also in the gladiator business? Mm -hmm. Well, he Why sells after? slaves. Yeah, he sells slaves to gladiator trainers. Yes, and yes, yes. That's um, wild. All gladiators are slaves. Some so are. Like, volunteers. You know what's kind of funny though is like it's almost like they're being because gladiators are entertainment. It's like they're becoming movie stars. Mm -hmm. They're forced. Yeah, they're forced is, to become. I mean, yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of like the movie death, star. But it's like they are the becoming day. the most glorified career. In what North America recognized now. Absolutely. It's wild. Mm -hmm. I mean, but yeah, but they were, it was Maximus, like something you were for. And now it's like so coveted. We're, we're all in, we're all just slaves in this we're great show slaves. business <laughs> game. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, all right. Maximus has been picked up by the slave trader. <laughs> he is, um, he's been carried on a cart yeah. with his wounds. His, his, his shoulder wound has been yeah. festering and Ew. they're going to fix it and clean Maggots? it up. It's all. Little oh yeah, yeah, a little bit of maggots Same in there. Yeah, the first the first face he sees is uh, Jimon. Juba. Juba. Juba is his name, played by Jimon Hunsu. He's uh, been, he uh, is he's in, in uh, um, Blood Diamond. Blood Diamond. I haven't seen that either. He was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Um, he. I'm just trying to think of recent. What has he been in? Uh, again, we do this whole thing. Captain where Marvel. You guys, <laughs> he's been in a lot of <laughs> movies. Guys compare yeah. to other movies, and I'm always like, I haven't. seen I know. Well, I mean, what can we? What else can we reference aside from like? Yeah, I, mean, I guess. GI Joe. GI Joe. PSA. He's a very great Oof. African af actor, and he uh, he's in a lot. But this is like one of his earlier yeah, it's one roles of his, like, where we were introduced to his. Uh, oh, Amis, face he was an Amistad before that. That oh, was one of his bigger yes, yes. first roles. Okay. So anyway, he's the first face we see from. Russell Crowe. His, uh, his first okay. line is, don't die. They'll feed you to the lions. Oh, if he dies. Which is why we have lions in our drink here. Yeah. Because yeah. there are lions in this film. Well, I could only imagine. Mm. So, um, he's <sighs> helping to carry this, like, rickshaw with other with yeah there's a big caravan of like slaves lions camels oh, yeah uh, it's like hyenas it's just, a just a big traveling zoo, zoo, basically. zoo basically like, he like sells it's all, animals it's and, all southern spain rome yeah sorry it's kind this of is Middle the Eastern so, as well. yeah zucabar the province it's a province of rome that's in africa it's a you're African, not a fucking roman file what Come on. You know all this. It's How in the movie. This? It's oh. the title. It he says it as they ride happening. into the town. It he says Zucabar, goes. Roman province. That's what it says in the title. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. He's that so they're in Zucabar. I don't have to be a Roman. I'm smashing my hands on the table right now, by the How way. How dare you insinuate that he's How a Roman scholar. How dare you that I, <laughs> I am not a Roman scholar. How dare you. All right. All right. I misspoke. <laughs> you misspoke. <laughs> Maximus is on this caravan. He's being he's a slave. He's they don't know who he is. He's just a dude with a scraggly beard. He grew a big facial beard while he was riding for his family, by the way. He's looking he's looking real scraggly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scrags. Um and yeah, they get to this uh Zucabar province in this little town with a little mini gladiator arena. It's not quite as big as the actual Coliseum, but it's like a little okay. hole in the ground gladiator. Yeah, arena. So, so it's, it's like is it actually just like a hole in the ground? Kind of, yeah. It's like it's like a bit of a valley, yeah. and there's like so a hole in the ground. So I guess is the idea they... then like the setup here for gladiator fights is that like they can't leave it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they're slaves. They have to win their freedom. Yes, uh, but do they get freedom or they just keep fighting? They keep no. Mostly, they, they, mostly they just die. Yeah, they mo they mostly <laughs> they are bought to die. Yeah, they, and oh. only certain tournaments win their freedom because. We, yeah. you know, because obviously Russell Crowe doesn't die this time around. He wins, but he doesn't win his freedom. He just wins mm -hmm. the chance the to fight again yeah. for his yeah. freedom. Yeah. But he, um, there, yeah. Uh, the so lie is that there's no He gets freedom. sold by, um, I forget the guy's name. I forget the, Fuck the actor's guy. name. How or the guy. You? But he, but he gets sold to Proximo, Proximo who is a yeah. gladiator, um, trainer. manager, trainer yeah. guy. Well, he's a slaver too. Like, yeah, all, he's a slaver. He owns a, a lot of gladiators and he, 
he travels his gladiators around yeah. to compete. Yeah, because he okay. makes money because he gets bets. It's a betting thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a well, it's like horse sport, it's like horse yeah. races. Yeah, yeah, yeah but perfect. against gladiators, and you know some gladiators are better, so you put more odds on those. Are you gladiators. calling them gladies? We, you know what? Let's just start saying gladies. Gladys. Yeah. Gladys. Yeah. Gladys. 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 It's Gladys. <laughs> okay. So, so glad all the glasses. But, but he sold to Gladys. he sold to him by this guy who he's in the mummy. Hey, he's, he he's, plays such, the same he's like a Saudi Arabian time. actor or just who like always a sort of, plays in a period piece. Sort I've never of a, seen yeah, him in like a modern a, movie. Uh, <laughs> a character actor <laughs> yeah. for that sort of thing. Yeah, he's got Maybe like that's a, what he likes to do. Yeah, he's like the Saudi so Arabian he up, Danny DeVito. He comes basically. up to Proximo <laughs> and he's like, "I have some gladiators for you here. Um, they're a nice stock. They I just got them in, you know." And he's like, "Come check out my new stock." Yeah, and the guy Proximo's to this guy. He's like. Like those drafts you sold me, those oh. drafts they haven't were, been mating. Me. They haven't sold been mating. Me. Yeah. You sold me queer, queer giraffes. giraffes. Uh. <laughs> that, that has absolutely nothing to do with the plot, <laughs> except from like one throwaway well, shot they do a little later yeah. of just two giraffes not fucking. <laughs> Shut up! Do they really? No, they no they oh. they're not fucking. Is the idea? Some for some weird reason, there's a plot in this movie where Proximo is upset that his giraffes aren't fucking. Well. <laughs> If you buy a giraffe that's you're told is going to breed and then it's not, I'd be pretty upset. I think he exactly. just wanted to watch it giraffe to giraffe porn. Yeah, I think, yeah, Proximo's got a Again, sweet reared giraffe Ancient fetish. Rome, right? So, like, anything I know, goes. Yeah, anything. Yeah, you didn't have internet back then. You had to watch some what giraffes and do? some weird-ass yeah. shit. Yeah. So, Proximo purchases um, many slaves, including Maximus and... Juba. 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 <laughs> His name is Juba. <laughs> I just can't remember it, yeah. He, the, his honestly, his name is only said like once yeah. in the movie. <laughs> just really stuck. For I just you. know his. I only only yeah. You just know his name because you look it up on the Wikipedia page, right? <laughs> the Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> you look it up on the Wikipedia page. So, yeah. So they start training, uh, and the, his main gladiator that he owns is this Germanic yeah, like giant guy. Germanic guy. He kind of looks giant. like Lou Ferrigno, kind of yeah. just big jacked dude. All and that's right. this is like. And like this guy and Juba and is are like Max's his little circle little of pals. friends, his little circle, little pals, new like circle of gladiator yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. But we see that Maximus is basically he's like defeated. He's just like yeah. emotionally, oh, he doesn't yeah. want so to. Like as he's being, have to be. he's yeah. being trained, and so he just scene, stands and yeah, there's front a scene of the where they're, tra- they're, they're 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 testing out the gladiators and be like. You know, see how this guy fights. Oh, he gets a yellow. He's a yellow. You know, if it's, if, he, if he fights good, it's a red. Okay. So they, okay. they're separate. Really quick question. Yes. Um, why? Why would Maximus? Because his life is torn apart. Why wouldn't he just die? Like kill himself? I mean, no, I feel like, like that why was what he, he was. Just go- allow himself to get killed. That's, well, no, I think because, that's what he was kind of going for. Yeah, he yeah. just collapsed after seeing his family. He just collapsed. He I collapsed and yeah, gave up what, life. But then, exactly. Okay, but well, so, what's his new purpose? Well, at this point, he hasn't been in the arena. Uh, he's not killing himself because no, that's, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's he's okay. he's he's just yeah. Throughout this entire like s- like sequence, he's just like a broken man. He's just sitting there right. silently looking at the ground, just being like, yeah. "My life is over. My yeah. family's dead. You know, all I have is this weird dude just comforting me and lions all around me." Yeah. And I, it even seems like he sometimes just doesn't even know what's happening. Yeah. And all of a sudden he's thrust into the gladiator testing arena and he's like, try him, the Spaniard. He's yeah. there. They call him the Spaniard because he has a tattoo on the side of his arm that says SPQR, which is the, uh, the sign of a Roman legion, legionnaire. Yeah. And with the, like the Spanish Roman legionnaire, they call him the Spaniard. Now. Mm-hmm. Okay. But he has SPQR and they, they test him and he just stands there and gets hit by yeah. the guy because he doesn't want right. to fight back. Yeah. yeah uh, so they paint, I mean. they paint him yellow as okay. in someone who's he's not a, good at fighting. Yeah. And, uh, and they paint uh, Juba with red. Cause he's pretty good. He's pretty okay. good. And then uh, we, then we do see a scene where he is, uh, he's got like a sharp rock and he's cutting off removing his, his tattoo. tattoo. Oh, because gross. he no longer is loyal to, yeah. He doesn't want to fucking to be associated with those assholes royal. that killed his family. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so um, so then we 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 were we are brought to the first battle, the first gladiator battle yes. in this smaller pit that's not like the Colosseum. Now this battle is a is a significant. It's a it's a doubles battle. So yeah. one gladiator who is a red gladiator, a good fighter, yeah. is paired with a yellow gladiator who is yeah. not such a good fighter. Yeah. They're chained Why? together. They're chained together oh. with handcuffs. Oh like, wait, sort of like a handcuff still? thing. Well, no, no this, this is, is a an battle, actual yeah. gladiator oh. battle, the first yeah. one that we see. Mm-hmm. You think they want to like equal it out though, eh? No, like more yeah, yeah, no. I mean, it's more entertainment if it's like one good guy is paired with a like a shitty fighter, shitty dude. and then the yeah. guy just has to like 
dragged the whole <laughs> yeah. way. All right. So Juba is paired with Maximus. Oh, Maximus is painted as a I shitty see. fighter right Sorry, now because they, they, don't they don't know they don't they no, don't know no. if he can fight or not. Yeah. So they just they're fighting him. against other gladiators. Now no, it's but never, they're a pair. Yeah. yeah, they're like on a team. Okay, yeah. they're on a team. They're they're chained together. They Got have no choice. You. Oh, I get it. Okay, yeah. but they're they're the whole all of them are like a team, meaning they're they're not fighting each other. Like they're all of Proximo's gladiators. Yeah, right. Are fighting Proximo's gladiators. Another set. Yeah. Oh, it's a great yeah. There's a great scene where it's so they're they're about to enter the the gladiator arena. There's a door that will open up and they'll all run in and start fighting. There's a dude with spiked hair. Cute. There's some dude with like spiked hair yeah. that looks like he's a, like part of some. I thought 41. that was a helmet some at first. But. No, he's got like actual spiked hair. Like like he's Tom like, DeLonge. Like a punk in the band. front row. Like he's in a punk <laughs> band from the 2000s. And it's Amazing. such a poetic poet. It's so I love it. It's so poetic. They're waiting to go into the gladiator arena. This guy with the spiked hair is. In the front of the line, and he's about he's gonna be the first one to go out. No, no, that's you, I know what you're gonna say, but that's not that guy. Is that not that no? Scene? So the guy he's thinking of, there's this guy who previously we see a little scene where he's all like, I shouldn't be out there. I'm a scholar, I write words. No, 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 no yeah. Oh. That's not the not spiked hair guy. guy. Okay. That's not the spiked hair guy. Okay, but oh, anyway, no. that guy who's like, I'm a scholar, we see the scholar him. Scholar guy's changed to the the, to the, the big hefty German guy. German okay. Luferino and he guy. stands there screaming and he starts peeing. Himself. He starts Aww. pissing himself. And then Maximus kind of looks down. The guy, and backs with the, spike, up. the guy with the spiked hair is not an important character. Oh, okay. I just think it's great because when the door opens, there's a guy, there's a one of the gladiators in the arena is swinging a, a chain. Um, a chain, uh, what do you call it? Mace. A mace, yeah, a chain mace with like a sp- a, a, a a spiked ball. Yeah. And I think it's funny because he is the one that gets hit in the face with a with spiked a spike ball, ball because oh, yeah. he has spiked hair. It's oh. funny. I think it's really cool. I <laughs> okay. think I like it. I like that little part of the movie that yeah. they put in. <laughs> it's pretty. It's just like. It's just like as soon as, like, literally, as, soon as he goes, as as he goes yeah. it's yeah. just a spike ball to yeah. the yep. face. Sorry, I just smacked my face. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna smack myself around <laughs> a bit. The sangria is delicious. <laughs> So, uh, long story short, we don't need to go in the nitty gritty, but Maximus and Maximus, they win. He doesn't Maximus die. and Juba both survive. Yeah, right. they, they survive. Win. So does he fight back at this point? Yes. Yeah, okay. absolutely. It's life he, or death. He reveals He's himself yeah. to be an actual really good warrior, yeah. which Proximal yeah. is like, looks at so him like, the, why the, in didn't the first you do battle, that before? It's Maximus, Juba, and the, the Germanic, I forget his damn name. I, I forget. I remember his name. German guy. But he, he wins, <laughs> but his, his partner is killed, so he literally just chops off his partner's hand yeah. to so just like to yeah. not be weighed down by this <laughs> dead guy. Yeah. But so yeah, the three so, of them win the first yeah, battle. Yeah, they win. And so now we kind of see, and then uh, Maximus kind of got some spirit in that kind of yeah, way. and they, they okay. kind of like him. Now, Meanwhile, meanwhile, yeah, well, let's cut to Rome. <laughs> we are in Rome. Okay. So right now they're somewhere in Spain or the Middle East, somewhere where Zucabar. I told Zucabar. you earlier. <laughs> but is it in Rome? Like, no, what it's is... in Africa. It's in Africa. Okay, so that's what I mean. They're like it's Middle the East, African Africa. Province. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so now we're in Rome. Commodus and his sister have arrived back from like where they were in Germany. In Germany, yeah. Okay. They've made their grand entrance. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we actually hear a lot of the crowd uh, booing, yeah, not booing, boo but they say, they, they say, call him usurper. Usurper, yeah. yeah, yeah. The people don't like him. Yeah. No one likes Commodus because he's a weird little fuck. That, weird yep. little fuck. So he's, you know, riding up to the calls. He's riding up to the, sorry, the uh, the Senate where the Senate is waiting for him, you know, just to welcome him as new emperor. Kind of like a coronation ceremony. Yeah. But the senators, they, they don't, I don't think they like, they don't like him. And because yeah, the senators don't like him either because he knows that, uh, they know that Commodus is very against the Senate. He doesn't yeah, like Yeah, he wants politics. to dissolve the Senate. Yeah, he okay. just thinks an emperor can This is the everything. political tinginess of yeah. the movie yeah. here that we're getting into, yeah. you know. We're, all, we're also introduced to um, Lucella's son. Lucella has a son. I forget his damn name. A young oh, okay. son. Uh, I don't know. S- sunny boy. Uh, what's um, sunny boy. <laughs> what's your name? Oh, some Roman. I watched the movie name. The Other Damn Night. I forget his damn name. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You're right. He's a son. He's a kid. Young boy. Very spry. Very happy because mm-hmm. he's, you know, royalty. He's not living in squalor like most yeah. of his His children. dad died recently. Oh, yeah. So oh, his, okay. his, he doesn't have a father. His father passed away in war. Um, And we learn this uh, just through way a back in Act yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it doesn't really matter. So we see and we, and we immediately see there's already like communists. Ooh, I just had a thought. Yeah. Maximus's lady's dead. Her lady or guy is dead. They're definitely going fuck. Continue. Mm, okay, well, we'll get, you know, we'll okay. get to that. 
So Commodus arrives. He, uh, you know, he goes up to the Senate and is like, "Let's get, let's get down to business." You yeah. know, like, "Welcome to, welcome, congratulations, Caesar. Here's yeah. your empire and Rome yeah. and shit." And the senators have many concerns about, you know, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, Commodus, it's great that you're here, but you know, we got shit to do right now, right? Yeah. There's then, people with plague. There's there's shit to be done. Yeah, you got to run a goddamn country right now. Mm-hmm. And communist doesn't is care. Like, Communists, Welcome. Uh, oh, I'm here. Oh my god. Everybody should love me. Yeah. You know what? Let's host 150 days of games. Yeah. So he brings. What? So he decides he wants up. to do 150 uh, Colosseum days. days of Colosseum games in honor of his father. Yeah. Who, who he murdered. Yeah. But what the fuck? we we also like. Uh, the games, the gladiatorial games, haven't been in Rome for five years because Marcus Aurelius, his them. father, canceled yeah. them. Yeah, because so it's just like he's he didn't can- like them. Yeah, because yeah. he thought he's, like, he's basically just yeah. like just so that's undoing more like a fuck people. You people love Marcus Aurelius because he was kind of well, he conquered. He was the one who conquered most of the world for Rome, but yeah. also later in his life became very peaceful and very like. We're not going to do this like mm-hmm. crazy yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. He's actually the one who freed Proximo, who is the current owner mm-hmm. of Maximus. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So when he says that, the Senate obviously is like, what the fuck? They're like, okay. Oh, yeah, so, oh of course. Yeah. But so they, they, but they start they, they, yeah. they acknowledge that he's kind of smart for doing this because the, the people, people will be on his side. Uh, the people would be on his side because like the people yeah. fucking love yeah. games. Yeah. Okay. They, they want to go see this shit. It's fun. Like, it's yeah. like the only entertainment. So exactly. Yeah, like, you know, mm-hmm. what do the Roman people do aside from just sit around and, you know, yeah. watch giraffes? Watch, fuck. Dra- <laughs> watch yeah. giraffes fuck. And then it's like, oh shit, there's a gladiator match going on today. Oh shit, you're going to go see the 10 15 screening or the 1 15 <laughs> screening? I mean, like. <laughs> and then, um, we, I mean, I think, yeah, we have some sort of scene in that whole sequence where Commodus is trying to fuck his sister again. It's all he's just yeah, always trying to fuck his sister. Always, yeah. No, she is definitely not. No, down. she yeah. loves she yeah. loves her brother. She loves her brother. Yeah, but like a brother. But, but also, <laughs> like she knows she knows how that. terrible he is. Right. So yeah. that's important yeah, okay. too. So that's one of those things that yeah, like she because... doesn't like him as a human being. She mm-hmm. likes him because they are blood. Yes, that's, that's it's just a, it's a loyal blood thing, but he's, she knows that he's not yeah. a good ruler. He also he also like creepily like is like watching over her son while he sleeps. Yeah, oh, it's creepy. and there's a and she's fearful that like because her son if you know if she Thomas doesn't, doesn't have a wife or a son, mm-hmm. her son is next in line for the throne. Because oh shit, she doesn't want her son to become emperor yeah, like yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, also, like, if he wants to reign forever, he would probably just kill the son. Well, I mean, he could have his own son. Then yeah, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> but he could also just not. <laughs> That's have another plot point later true. with the incestuous thing. That's you know? true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, so, um, so there's now we've, we've there's games. Commodus is back. He's a dick. Senate He's doesn't a dick. like him. Senate doesn't like him. Um, yeah. So now when we come, we come back to Maximus, and he's doing pretty and. He's doing pretty well the gla- with the games. All, the, all of his fellow gladiators have taken a liking to him and calling him Spaniard. Yeah, Spaniard. Okay. Yeah. You Spaniard, mm-hmm. you're good at fighting. You know, yeah. why don't pro- you be your like, Proximo? Yeah. yeah, Proximo tells him he's like, you're good at fighting, but you're not. You're not an entertainer. Yeah. yeah, you just kill and you don't do anything you have to else. Entertain the crowd. You can't yeah. just kill people. You gotta yeah. make it look good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we we have a uh, another match where pro- it's it's kind of a one. It's just on a one, solo. Eh? Yeah. It's a solo match where Maximus fights like five other dudes yeah. covered in armor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because now he Maximus is like the big fighter Spaniard. Everyone loves him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so he kills them all, and they're all cheering. And or no, yeah, he kills them yeah, all. He kills and, all the dudes in covered yeah. in armor, like no problem. Yeah. And just and, slices them like butter. And this is like iconic scene where he's like he kills them all he like throws the sword down and mm-hmm. then he like looks to the crowd and goes are you not entertained oh, yeah yeah nice <laughs> are you because, not entertained yeah because yeah. he's like why do i have to entertain you yeah. like are you not already entertained me because right. he, yeah, he like doesn't question, do questioning yeah. the whole gladiator business yeah. it's a thing uh, yeah because he doesn't they take do he doesn't take Proximo's now. advice. He literally just straight up just kills everyone Good. so yeah, he quickly. Just, like, he kills boom, 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 boom. But of course, the people fucking love it. They're yeah, yeah. like, Spaniard, Spaniard, <laughs> yeah. Spaniard. Yeah. So uh, uh, Proximo meets with Maximus, <sighs> and he Proximo tells Maximus that, you know, Caesar, the new Caesar, Commodus, yeah. has ordered 150 days of games and that we're going back to Rome because they, he hasn't been to in Rome in five in years front of the because Emperor. the games haven't been in Rome for a while. Okay. It's like Maximus were finally being called home to the Colosseum and he has yeah. like a little monologue about the Colosseum. Yeah. And then Maximus is like, you were a gladiator once, weren't you Proximo? Yes. Well, duh. Maximus, yeah. I was a gladiator. Pro- uh, Marcus Aurelius freed me. 
Yeah, and he's like, he's he like, touched me on the shoulder, and I was free. The and then Maximus laughs at him. He's like, "You've met Marcus you Aurelius. Know Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> because Maximus, is, he gave he knows. me. I, no, I, I don't say I knew him. I said he touched me on the shoulder once. <laughs> That's and a weird gave, line. <laughs> I know it's a very weird line. Yeah. Um, then he gave him a wooden sword, signifying his freedom. Yeah. <laughs> so, so now Maximus point. goes. I yes, Ooh, I'm going I'd to like go. to go to Rome. Yeah, I'm I'd like go. to meet the emperor as well. Oh yeah. shit! <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. Yeah. Oh, so now we right. see revenge in in Maximus's eyes. He's no yeah, longer the, fires in his eyes. He's he has person. a purpose again. Yeah, a poipus. Yes. Okay, I'm um, totally watching this fucking. Movie. Um. So then they go to Rome. Yeah. <laughs> then, then they, I'm trying to remember what happens after the scene where they talk about going to Rome. They go to Rome. No, but then it cuts back to the games. No, no, no. Um. They enter Rome. Yeah, we, we could probably skip. There's yeah, a lot of poly other yeah. scenes. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah, they enter. They they enter Rome and they see the Colosseum. And the thing is, Maximus has never seen the Colosseum, right? Or no? I don't oh. think so. Or has he? Has he know. been to Rome? I can't remember if he's ever. I don't actually know. Been yeah, to Rome. he's been in Rome in general. He's been living in Spain, but yeah, I don't know yeah. if he's ever been to Rome. Who right. knows? But Juba comments on the Colosseum. He's like, oh, "Look at this thing. How." I didn't know man could build such hey, things. Hey, look at this thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who knew man could build? Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's cracking trying. a fucking stand-up set. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, as I'm looking at this bowl that is an, a coliseum in front of us right now, I'm yeah. just marveling at the marveling at the architecture <laughs> of such a beautiful piece of... It's one of the seventh wonders of the world, really. This is, this, this is definitely one of the wonders of the world right here that I'm going to currently <laughs> drink out of. So yeah, they they enter Rome. They enter to the gladi the gladiator pits, the gladi like pit. the like the, the basic gladi pit. the gladiator hostel. Whatever, it's like wherever. Yeah, they uh, have like a they okay. have like a holding a area for to keep something. your gladiators. Yeah, a whole, whole, yeah, yeah. A I mean, I agree. The thing that you kind of forget after a while is that they're still slaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I'm saying like the they're lines seem a little everything. blurred, right? Because like they mm-hmm. are needed and necessity in the sense that they're entertainment so they're valued to that point like they're very yeah like they're they're, they're glad you're, they are the entertain yeah exactly like, well, they don't, they don't want them to they don't want them to die before they go into the arena to die then they have nothing yeah exactly mm-hmm. so yeah so they they get to the pits and they're all in their training mode and they're they're, yeah. they're in Rome. I think the, the so the first battle in the giant coliseum is the recreation of the barbarian horde. The barbarian horde versus With Hannibal the, the and Carthans, the, the, Carthag- the, Carthag- the Carthaginians. Huh? The Carthaginians. So basically, so, what, basically, what they do in the coliseum, they it's a gladiator arena, and they do gladiator battles, but they also do theater. Exactly, it's it's kind of a theater thing where they'll they'll have a battle, but they'll also put a, a spin on it where huh. they'll be like, "This is the group of the barbarian oh. horde." And this is the group of Hannibal and his, his the Carthaginian they Legion. They give them basically yeah, like, a backstory. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. They give them a backstory before that is based on like a historical like Roman a, battle. Yeah. Yeah. Cute, very yeah. funny. Mm-hmm. It's like this is the battle that yeah. we're gonna do, That's and it's, we're gonna recreate it for yeah, you. Yeah, so it's like the WWE fighting. It is. Yeah, <laughs> it's basically <laughs> yeah. WWE. Where is John Cena? By the way, I still have not. Seen <laughs> we have him. He's sunk <laughs> right to the bottom. He's oh. such a, He's oh, such a dense don't man. Don't pick him out. You guys need to get him when you when you deserve him. I found him. <gasps> John John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's been man. swimming at the bottom. Yeah, know, making out with the tigers. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the first battle, and uh, this is where Maximus, you know, starts really being a general his, again. Yeah, because he oh, okay. he keeps all of the gladiators together and all he directs gla- them yeah, how to like, defeat you ever, everyone. Have you ever been on a battle before? And then one of the gladiators was like, "I serve with you at this at this place." Yeah, so, so was, one guy's there, like, "Yeah, yeah I know gu- who you are." Yeah, dude. one of his guys <laughs> there is just like, "Yo, dude, I know who you are. You were you were straight up yeah. my general. I don't know why you're here, but like, sure, I'll Hilarious. I'll follow you, man. You're you're cool. You cool. You cool. <laughs> you cool with me? Yeah." But he's like, yeah, if we, we'll have a better chance of surviving, if we all stay together. Yeah. So the the opposite team is in. Uh, now, this is where you said before they're in chariots. They're in like horse okay, yeah. chariots with bows and arrows and they're just Sick. running around them yeah. trying to shoot them with bows and arrows. Sick. This arena is much larger than the one that Maximus previous. Yeah, it's, it's probably huge. it's probably like it's huge. probably like 100 this. times my apartment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what right, cool. which is yeah <laughs> at least a hundred times yeah, yeah, complete yeah. with cgi you know a lot of cgi crowds and extras and oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah it's crazy. It's crazy oh yeah we're at a beige point in the movie we've cut from blue uh-huh. to beige now yeah it's very beigey yeah <laughs> yeah so obviously they win that battle because 
they Maximus. Got a yeah, yeah, Maximus but is it's a funny super because, leader. You know, and, and it's funny because, you know, they kill all the all of the gladiators that are riding on chariots. They like straight up upturn the chariots, oh. take the horses, ride on the horses, and they defeat the bar the 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 Hannibal's uh Carthaginian warriors. Yeah, yeah. Which is totally opposite of how the actual battle oh, in history yeah. went. Oh, that's funny. But so Commodus, this whole still so Commodus is there watching it the whole time. The oh, yeah. watching, we didn't say yeah. this. So they're about to go out, and Maximus grabs this cool mask to put on because oh, okay. he knows the emperor is going to be oh. there and see. So he puts this cool mask on. It's a very okay. iconic mask. Yeah. Is this the lady mask? I'll try to nope, describe it's, it. It's it's, a, it's kind of got it's it's steel like it's like it's a silver steel, steel. Yeah. it's got like cool. two things like yeah, almost like fangs like, it's not fangs but, a picture yeah two fangs <laughs> that come down on the side of his mouth his mouth is open if you know the, the rapper, rest is covered the rapper mf doom wears this mask i don't know <laughs> if you are into the big rap game is he also wears this mask as a thing but aside right. from that Sounds good. It's a mask so that Commodus cannot recognize Maximus yeah. okay. as he enters the gladiator arena. Right. That Commodus is having a grand old time watching oh, this. Oh, yeah, he, he loves is, it. There's blood splashing. Yeah, yeah. he's blood eating grapes. He's, he's eating laughing. Grapes. He's like, oh, this is lovely. Yeah, That's all the death. So is as, so and as the battle ends, and it's the it's the totally opposite of what happened in history. It's like, forgive me, uh, but didn't the barbarians like lose? Or, I forget yeah. what the line is. He says that to the, the, the he's host like, guy. The, the yeah. host guy. Basically, the guy who makes all the announcements and introduces everyone. And he goes like, yes, my lord, I'm, I'm very sorry about that, lord. And he goes like, no, I quite like surprises. And he says, who is that one? And he points to Maximus. And like, yeah. they call him the Spaniard. Yeah. And he's like, I'd very much like, like to, to meet, meet him. him. Oh, shit. So they bring on Commodus into shit. the field. Like all, yeah, the guards, guards, ah. all the guards run out yeah. into the gladiators. And, and they, they all bow. Their weapons yeah. And they all bow. Yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, did he refuse Maxim- to bow or he did bow? He, he, he doesn't bow. Actually, yeah. he, uh, there was a scene before the battle where he's like. Oh, he does like, bow. No, he purposely bows to get everyone to bow because he goes and then he picks up a broken oh, arrow oh, in the oh, sand. He's going to think about stabbing him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then, But then he picks it up and then he sees the kid, the nephew run out he's so, like oh, i better not stab him right kid. now because the kid's there okay yeah. oh and because uh we forgot we totally forgot this part this is a big part too oh my god so before this battle all the gladiators are in their cages and stuff and actually uh, the commoners can actually see them can walk over and talk to them or look <gasps> yeah. at them and uh lucella's oh my god, we forgot this. lucella's child son yeah uh is there and then is looking at all the gladiators and sees maximus he's never like Max was never, never met, met this never kid. Met yeah, uh, doesn't know who this kid is, and the kid like calls him over, and then they talk. They have a little kind of exchange. It's kind of like cute and stuff. Where uh, he's wearing this armor with horses, and he's like talking about his horses and how they were taken from. Him. And um, and then he's like, "I shall cheer for you." And then he he Maximus reveals that he asks is, his name, and he's like, "My name is what is his name? I forgot his damn his name. Na- he's named after his father." Okay. And he goes like. You're an, oh, Lucius. His Lucius. Lucius. Yeah. Lucius. Okay. So, so the his like handler or whatever, his like butler is like, Master Lucius, we have to leave. And he's like, Your name is Lucius. And he goes like, Yes, yes Lucius. After my um, father. Lucius after my father. And Maximus is like, Oh shit. And then he hides because oh, he shit. thinks like he's they, being. They watched. might be here. They're gonna see me. Oh, yeah. Because uh, oh, he knows who his father is because he knows. Yeah. Those the, people. That family. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, so, my so he sees him run out. So then Maximus. So fast, down forward. Arrow. <laughs> yeah. fast forward back to yeah. the end of the battle. So then uh, Commodus asks Maximus, like, what is your name, soldier? And then he goes, my name is Gladiator. And he turns around. He turns, walks he away. turns his back to the emperor. He's like, how dare you turn your back to me? It's like, I demand you take I your helmet off and tell me your, your name. name. Oh God. And he takes his helmet you do it, off. You do it. You do it. You do it. Oh yeah, you do it. Oh I don't know if I can remember it properly. But I, I can do it. it. If I can do you it. You can do it. Okay. Let's let the guests do it. So this is the most iconic line in the movie this Russell is what Crow, everyone Russell Crow also hated this line as the script he's like what why did you put such a shit line in the script <laughs> really? i know i'm the, gra- the most I'm the, iconic line. i know i'm the greatest actor so i'll do it great <laughs> why did you put such a shit line in this movie so it's so you he wanna... so he takes off the mask and then he turns around and commodus sees it's maximus my name is maximus decimus meridius father to a murdered son husband to a murdered wife and i will have my vengeance in this life or the next no, he says, <laughs> he does, there's more to that. He is goes, there? yeah, he goes, my name is Maximus Stru- <laughs> My name is Maximus Desmus Meridius. <laughs> Leaders of the armies of the, uh, commander it, yeah. of the armies Money of the north, the north, loyal servant of uh, the rightful emperor, Marcus, Marcus Aurelius, Aurelius. Yeah, father yeah. to a murdered son, yep. uh, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance See, in you this fight for the next. I have, I, well, I, I thought I you knew it. I thought you fucking knew it. You fucking chat. I thought you knew it. 
it. Okay. <laughs> now you just ruined it for all the other guests. Now they know. It was a very <laughs> iconic line, and if you watch the movie, you will get it. And it's amazing line. Oh, absolutely. You get chills because you're like, oh shit. Yes. And this is where the real conflict starts. And uh, like, and then what happens? So Commodus turns to Quintus, who was Maximus's general yeah, friend, yeah, but yeah. now is now he's royal. He has to be lord of the emperor because turns you know, to Quintus. He kind of whispers something, and then all the soldiers like start advancing onto the gladiators, <sighs> and the crowd starts booing. Right? Because yeah, they like, don't, don't want, kill them. Yeah, they're they awesome gladiators. Yeah, they yeah. love Maximus. And yeah. the, in in like so in a gladiator, a thing in gladiator cultures, you know, the emperor would <laughs> be the gladiator <laughs> gladiator culture. <laughs> Sorry, I'm appropriating gladiator culture right now. <laughs> Uh, the emperor would be usually the the one to decide if somebody lives or dies in that sort of situation. Okay. And he would do oh, it by having his thumb as a symbol of whether he would as somebody would live or die. Mm-hmm. I will say I'll say this, yeah. this is a fact about the movies that yeah. this is a like a historical like accuracy oh, thing yeah, yeah. because yeah. thumbs down in actual history means don't kill him because thumbs down means like it's kind of like a sheath your sword. Mm-hmm. Thumb down sheath your sword kind okay. of thing. Where thumbs up is like fucking kill away, dude. In Got the movie, you. in the movie, it's yeah. opposite. Oh, okay. So where thumbs up means they live, thumbs down means they're gonna die. Yeah, okay. yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So we sh- a shot down. of Commodus, and he does thumbs up, which means no, they're gonna no. Live. I think I think it's opposite, dude. Watch the goddamn movie. I did right? watch the movie, and I'm pretty sure he does he a thumbs, thumbs down, and that's no, why thumbs down means dead because he thumbs down when when. This is future in the movie. When <laughs> when Maximus fights Tigris, uh, he does okay. thumbs down, which means kill him. Okay, maybe. But then Maximus doesn't kill him, and he called, gets called Maximus. Okay, the most you're of right. Him. I think you're right. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah. thumbs up means they live in the movie. Thumbs up means they live. Okay. Commodus gives a thumbs up because I don't know. He just wants to play with Maximus or just yeah. do something. That yeah. Way. Well, he want he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to make himself look him. like. Yeah. A, yeah. He doesn't want to lose exactly, the people exactly. because he's just so started the game. Try to like get him fucked up in the ring. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Hmm. He wants to kill Maximus's name before he kills him. Yeah, okay. he's got to kill the name. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's what happens. Now, now everyone knows. Everyone knows that Maximus is there. Mm-hmm. And that's boom. There you go. Boom, boom goes the dynamite. Boom. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. There you go. And I would say that is like end of act two. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Commodus is testing the loyalty of his guards because they didn't tell him that Maximus was actually dead. Yeah, so he so executes he, like, them. He executes the guards that he thought were loyal to Maximus Mm -hmm. in a cool scene where he like stands with them as they were shot by arrows. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so basically Commodus finds out that Maximus is in town Mm -hmm. chilling out and he's like, well, he was in town. He didn't tell me. I know. So he arranges for, uh, Maximus's next battle. He's going to fight yeah. uh, a gladiator who, who won his freedom, who's coming out of retirement. One Tigris, of the best gladiators. Tigris the Gaul. Tigris the Gaul. Okay. Tigris, T-I-G-R-I-S. This, this is the motherfucker who has the the female face mask that yeah, that's scared, scared me as a kid here. for okay. some reason. Like He's like it, a huge like buff dude. He looks like he's like 60 years old, but yeah. he's like huge and buff and just like seven feet I tall. mean, he's probably only like 35. Well, I don't know. <laughs> 40. I don't know, I don't know I what mean, the life, life expectancy was back then. I mean, it probably was like 40. So. Something like that. <laughs> but yeah, huge dude. He wields an axe and a sword. Yeah, he's like double wielding. Yeah, he's a dual switch. wielder. Damn. Yeah. So but yeah, he sets up a battle. Yeah, so Commodus... Sets up this battle with him because he just wants Maximus to lose. He doesn't want to yeah. kill Maximus. No, he would, right off the yeah. bat, he wants Maximus to you know to be killed, lose by his another lose his uh, his fire Same, and just yeah. lose his status. Him. Yeah, so he uh, he arranges to have not one, not two. I don't even think three. How many? There's a lot oh, of tigers. Yeah, there's tigers. A lot of goddamn arranges, tigers. Okay. Yeah, tigers to because be released. The, the the Roman Colosseum is equipped with like trap doors in the floor. Right, right. Where tigers oh. can just come out of the ground and yeah. like fucking snatch your arm off or like okay. slash your face off or something. Oh yeah, Shit. it's fucking like the, the it must tigers. Must be a horror to film in the actual movie. Right. Oh no, well no, all the tigers are um, green screen, like they're real tigers, but yeah, they're real green tigers, screen. but they're, oh, they they are the green screen or like they're filming him far away from. No, the no, they're not. They weren't on set at all. They're all green screen. All the tigers really? are green screen. Okay. They were not on set. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There. So. Okay. uh he releases the tigers on Maximus to give uh, Tigris. Tigris. Oh. Tigris. 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 Tigris the Gaul. 
the the, the, the announcer dude the, the announcer dude like gives him a nice introduction tigris the goal the dude with the huge eyebrows yeah this uh, dude has a huge eyebrows <laughs> that's not relevant the host it is, it is relevant. <laughs> The movie's actually about the dude's eyebrows. <laughs> um, which are his own eyebrows, by the way. Wow. And, yeah, so, um, I don't know what this battle guy Battle ensues, one-on-one battle yeah. ensues, yeah. you know, but, you know. And the tigers, obviously. he fucking straight up murders he a tiger. He kills a tiger. Yeah. Yeah. He's Maximus. Maximus. Okay. As he's fighting the, the gladiator and the tiger's around him, he kills a, he to, he kills a tiger. And just he's like, this tiger's going to kill me. I'm just going to kill this tiger. Well, yeah. He, like, comes up on his back and he's like, he's like yeah, oh. Yeah, like, jumps on him, but he yeah. stabs the tiger. And, and uh, yeah. Lo and behold, Maximus wins the battle yeah, because he's Maximus, yeah. a badass but he, fighter. But he gains every hand. He knocks yeah, Tigris to the ground. Tigris, Tigris to the ground. Tigris to the ground. He stabs him in the, in the foot. Yeah. Oh, it's a great little shot where, like, it's like, ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stabs him in the foot. And then Tigress is like bleeding. Like he has the silver yeah, steel like, mask oh, out, yeah, like but then blood is like leaking out, out of his mouth. Uh, he's on the ground. He's like ready to die. Yeah, he's and then he die. stands over him and they all look to the emperor and the emperor. Because the emperor is going to give his like thumbs. Up or down. Thumb oh, okay. up or down. To kill. To kill Tigress. Yeah. Oh. So he gives the thumbs. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs down in the movie because yes. that's going to be, you know. Yeah, you're dead. Thumbs yeah. down, you're dead. Okay. Yeah. So he gives the thumbs down. To kill Tigris and Maximus, Maximus is, disobeys. Oh, yeah, he's shit. like, you know, I'm not going to kill this guy. Yeah, he I'm throws honorable. the sword, he throws down. sword down, but he's somebody, doing it on purpose too. He's disobeying the emperor. Yeah. On oh, purpose. absolutely! And then somebody in the crowd yells, "Maximus, Maximus the Merciful!" <laughs> yeah. So now they're they're always on Maximus' side. Uh-huh. Yep. And Commodus fucking hate. He's oh, so Commodus fucking is so pissed up. goddamn butthurt over this. He's like, <laughs> oh, they man. call it Maximus the Merciful. I hate it. I'm so bad. Oh, I'm so whiny. And this is another scene where he's just whining to his sister. And then he's like, "But can I sleep with you tonight?" Yeah. He's like, oh, "Stay with me, sister. Oh, I will be." <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he's so creepy. And yeah. like, yeah, he he talks to his sister, and like they have to. And she like gives him advice, but she's kind Meanwhile, of planting other oh, seeds. Absolutely. Oh no. So yeah. even. Oh yeah. So this is another plot point. Even yeah. while even while Max uh, Commodus is you know talking to his sister, his sister Lucilla is plotting with the senators, mm-hmm. plotting with the senators to release Maximus, send Maximus back to his armies. Yeah, because his armies are stationed and are still loyal to him. Yes, mm-hmm. Maximus he finds his out. Armies, yes. Yeah. Through his uh, Through servant Cicero. His servant Cicero, yeah. That yes. we talked about. Yeah. Somehow he escaped. I don't know how Cicero didn't die, but. I don't know. He's just a <laughs> soldier guy with weird scars on his face. Yeah. <laughs> he was in Sons of Anarchy, I think. The actor. He was in Smoking Aces. Oh, yeah. I haven't yeah. seen yeah. any of that. He's a famous scarred actor. He got a Irish scar in a bar fight. He's got like, scars on his cheeks. Yeah. And, like, kind of like very defining okay. scars on his cheeks. Yeah. yeah. Um,. But yeah, Maximus's armies are still loyal to him. And as Maximus discovers, like, when when when, when can you have my army for you tomorrow? And like, wow. it's no problem. Like, they yeah. can just ride and be able to protect him. So, Lucilla, the sister of the emperor, plots with the senators to have Maximus released to go and join his armies. Yeah, so that the armies can then raid the city, take over the city, and then give and power overthrow back to the, the emperor and yeah. give power back to the senate. Yes, yes. Like cool. even Lucilla says. My brother must die because he's a oh. fucking asshole. He's a fucking <laughs> he's a ass. Dick wall. He's a little pussy ass. Bitch. He's a yeah, pussy I, bitch. He's got a very. Derek has painted a very <laughs> colorful picture of this character. For me. I mean, even if you look at a picture of his character, he just just looks like a just such a wimpy crybaby emperor. <laughs> But also, this emperor has actually, he does actually have, like, fighting skills. So okay. he, he can fight. He's trained, yeah. He's I trained mean, in fighting things. He's, I mean, the most pussy He's Roman like a, emperor in history is way more badass than either Derek or I or you. Mm. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I couldn't fight any shit. If I was fighting in this gladiator arena, I'd be killed by John Cena, a tiger, a lion, and a horse. <laughs> yeah, the horse and several And several raspberries. <laughs> they're, just, they're just too sour. I hate the raspberries. What? No, mm. I, I love raspberry. Yeah. I don't think I've ever eaten a whole raspberry. You know what? Let's just <laughs> let's just do it right now. What? Oh my god, they're serious? so soggy. What does that mean? <laughs> it's so soggy. <laughs> it just went down like a sponge. It's just like you didn't so eat a whole raspberry. Okay, I think I've eaten a raspberry before, but yeah. that one just Shut went down like up. nothing. <sighs> Wow, that was a, 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 All right. a very wine and rum soaked raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So 
So there's the plotting going on. We know that. And Commodus is getting more and more paranoid and more and more mm-hmm. on edge. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, uh, Maximus sends. Oh, sorry. Lucilla. Yes. Has a private meeting yeah, with Maximus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she has cell. a private meeting and she's like, Maximus, you are the only one that can overthrow my brother. Please do it because He's the like, Senate is cool and my brother's crazy. Yeah. So, and he wants to introduce, she wants to introduce Maximus to this senator who's like going to back yeah, Gracchus, played Gracchus, by Derek yeah. Jacoby, a famous Shakespearean actor. Yeah, yeah. And so they, they had a secret meeting and Maximus is still very. Like, oh, yeah. Weird. He doesn't want to be emperor. Anymore. No, he's, he's like, like, I don't want to. Fuck you. You your your brother killed my family. I don't yeah, want yeah. any shit to do with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, but what about my son? My son's innocent. I don't too. want my son to become mm-hmm. like him. Mm-hmm. And then uh so that all happens. They have a meeting. This is where like again, and then no, they don't fuck. Okay. Sorry. They kiss. Jeez. Do they they do kiss? There's a kiss they? scene. Yeah, yeah there's they, a little they, kiss. they have a nice big smooch. Yeah, yeah, okay. but but he's still like in he's love still with his like wife. yeah, his, his dead wife, wife is dead, okay. which he still has those little wooden figurines, by the way. Yeah, yeah he's, yes. he got he the prayed. figurines back from Cicero. Cicero he, gave nice. it to him. Yeah, yeah, Cicero gave him back the figurines so he could play pray to them. It was a yeah. really nice moment where he finds the figurines again. Oh god, yeah. I love the afterlife plot of this movie. <laughs> there was a scene actually previous, like way back in the movie, where he was talking to um, Juba about the afterlife. You know, being like. Your wife and son are dead. I mean, you will meet them in the afterlife. You know, and mm-hmm. where are your wife and son? Oh, they're back in my home, ca- my home country. And just oh, God, I love the afterlife plot in this movie. It's so good. <laughs> it's how I kind of view my own like afterlife of views. But when I die, I want Lisa Gerard's score to play <laughs> as I die. Let's and hear that and meet- reprise. Reprise that score. <laughs> <laughs> and just oh. it's random gibberish literally Lisa Gerard just literally sings gibberish I don't think it's gibberish I'm, it's probably like Arabic no it's not it's no it, no like Lisa Gerard actually has like her own like weird singing language that she sings in it's what? just like her no. own language in no. this movie look up look it up dude <laughs> it's like Sigaros the Icelandic band they sing in their own goddamn language that has no that makes no sense in English or All anything right. right now, but I they, thought it, I thought like, it was Lisa like Gerard does the same Arabic thing it's just her own language she makes up her own words she's done it since she was a child Child. All right, what? and she did it for the Gladiator. Cool, score. cool. Okay, that is cool. Fun fact. Yeah, very fun. FF fact. Derek. FF Derek. We um yeah so, uh, through his assistant Cicero, who he still has contacted <laughs> yes. with, he sends he tells him to send word to Lucella that he is he's agreed. I will meet your senator. He will yeah. meet mm-hmm. the senator. Okay. He will agree to to be released and gather his armies and. And do this whole thing. The emperor and kill so the they meet the senator. They figure it all out. They figure out how they're going to do it. And boom, that's when we. But mean the, in the meantime, Commodus is uh, is not to be fooled. He, you know, he realizes that you know since all of these senators and my sister are suddenly so suspiciously agreeing with me on everything is like you know all these senators are just okay seem to be okay with me my sister just agreeing with me something must be up Mm. yeah they're probably plotting against me Mm -hmm. you know what have those senators followed have my sister followed Mm -hmm. i you know and then he discovers that you know they are plotting against him yeah so he's like you know what let's uh let's fucking just throw a wrench in this whole plan of theirs yeah so what happens is this night scene where uh, there's like a raid on the slavers camp and where Proximo was killed. Proximo this was is killed. Died, this is like a, under the order of this is Commodus. But, yeah. But but Maximus, I think, thinks it's part of the plan. Oh, shit. Mm. But he escapes. So Maximus escapes. Proximo is killed, which is kind of a moment because we like Proximo. A little yeah, bit. we like Proximo. Yeah. And the actor Oliver Reed actually died before. He oh, yeah, to film he did. Scenes. I forgot about that. Oh. Yeah. So Proximus is killed. Uh, Maximus escapes like like there's a big underground well, tunnel yeah, like, escape thing escapes in the slavers camp and he's supposed to escape and meet with his assistant Cicero and Cicero's mm-hmm. there on a horse and he sees him and he's about, but then Cicero like yells at him like to, Maximus, leave, no, to it's leave. A trap. and then he's actually being like hung by a rope and then oh. the horse like gallops off and then Cicero gets hung mm. and then Maximus, Maximus like no and then he gets shot with arrows yeah Ma- Maximus sorry Cicero gets shot with arrows yeah and then Maximus gets uh apprehended by yeah. the emperors uh, because the emperor has discovered army. the plot yeah oh, has God. realized that his sister has plotted against him mm. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, like, uh, Commodus has threatened literally to kill his sister's son. Oh, no. If, like, she is disloyal to him again. And he's like, if you ever, if you ever do this to me again, I will kill your son. Mm-hmm. Also, you will provide me with an heir of, an heir of pure blood. Oh, yuck. I'm going to fuck you yeah. and you're going to make me a son that's, like, really pure blood, pure blood son. Ew. He's just a big ass. He's a big, dick. like, incestuous dude. He's just a kind of, really bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Joffrey Baratheon in Game of Thrones based his character off of Commodus from Gladiator. FF, mm. FF yeah. Derek. Don't know who that is. Game of Thrones. That's yeah. another episode. That'll be, that'll be, yeah, that'll be a different uh, <laughs> podcast. Different. So they capture Maximus, and Commodus's plan is what better way to win the people than to defeat Maximus in one on one battle in oh, the Coliseum? In the Coliseum. Yeah. One on one. So one v one me in really the Coliseum, bitch. Him, so though? Maximus, uh, he's Maximus in prisons. He's basically hanging by his. Yeah, yeah like just thumbs, waiting to be. Like, wow. But yeah, like as you're, you, you were just saying, like, yeah, how can Commodus beat Maximus? Yeah. Maximus how is too god. Think? Yeah, how could. But, you know, fucking being Commodus and the dick that oh, he is. Sneaky. He. He comes to visit Maximus before the fight, Maximus. like right before the fight. Maximus, they're, Maximus. The, the fight they're cheering. They're, they're, cheering they're all his cheering name. for Maximus as yeah. they're about to enter the arena, and then and Commodus comes in. He's in like all white, white he's armor, like white, white cape, everything, like very chaste, very looking, yeah. royal looking chaste. armor. Where Maximus is just hanging there, like yeah, yeah. and he defeated and shit. And he has this moment. He's whispering in Maximus's ear about. He whispers about yeah, his, his wife, wife and he's son. Like, they told me your wife. Oh, he told me your son the screamed, son like, screamed a girl, like a girl. And they strung him up. You know, I think I think he said that in another scene. Back he did in the previous, say that in another scene. Didn't he didn't seen in this. Yeah, he said that back in the other gladiator scene after beating the did tiger he? guy. Oh, he did. Yeah. Either way, he says this to Maximus. They told me your son screamed like a little girl when they nailed him, nailed him to the cross, mm. and they told me your wife screamed like a wailed like Mourned a whore. like a whore moaned, moaned, like. moaned like a whore when they ravaged her again and again and again. Mm. Just to like, you know, fucking fuss yeah. with him, yeah. But fuck so, with Maximus. So yeah, so Commodus is like whispering in his ear and then he stabs Maximus in the side. Yeah. He gives him like a really deep like wound. A, like, it's not like a fatal wound. It's yeah. it's kind of a fatal wound. It's yeah. like it's like a very damaging wound in the side, like in his ribs yeah. kind of thing. Before I think it's in the his, fight. Probably yeah. in his heart. Like mm-hmm. it's on this side, right into his heart, I think. Mm-hmm. Just like a very slow wound to kill him and give yeah. Commodus his own Leverage. advantage. Yeah. Yeah. So Before because Commodus is a skilled fighter, but like, but yeah, he, but no, he's also, he knows, he knows, yeah. he, knows he couldn't, couldn't oh, defeat yeah. Maximus one on one. So that's why he stabs him to so give him a, himself a an, an advantage. So they then are, the fight they begins. Are elevated on this elevator into the Coliseum where they're coming up and there's like rose petals and shit like strewn about in like this grand. Do you think battle. that exi- Do you think like an elevator existed? In yeah, the, they had elevators. In really? The yeah. We've already established right off the bat that Romans were way ahead of the time. Goddamn, yeah. yeah, aqueducts. I was talking <laughs> about this earlier. The goddamn aqueducts. <laughs> they had, they had. I mean, if you go to if you go to Rome today, they actually have like the the floor of the Colosseum is gone. You can see all like the the tunnels underneath no. where they had the no. elevators no. and shit. No, I gotta see it to believe it. Oh no, my! No, God. I'll pull up a goddamn <laughs> picture for you right now wow. of the Colosseum where they the have like the floor, where the floor was, and there's like the tunnels underneath where they raise the elevators and shit anyways Commodus and Maximus are elevated into the Coliseum to Mm -hmm. do their one-on-one battle and it I guess it commences and they start fighting they fight and honestly like I don't know Commodus never really gets the advantage there's a couple straight he gets yeah he gets a good few good hits in there where Maximus is kind of down it's usually like the movie fight where you think your your hero is going to be killed but obviously uh, not (laughs) Excuse me, that was a lovely burp. I'm gonna have more sangria right now. Oh, man. the bowl is almost empty. The boil is almost gone. There's yeah, just no. le- all that's left is just like red fruit and John Cena. <laughs> and I mean, this gladiator is kind of falling apart in here. Ew. Yeah. Oh, is he falling apart? No, he's not falling apart. Oh, okay. He's just very small and defeated. And that's our Maximus. So I mean, it, yeah, it's your typical fight. Commodus goes up a bit and then Maximus comes back. They're all surrounded by Commodus's mm-hmm. guards, apparently. Yeah. Like, uh, by the way, but, in like a big square. Yeah, yeah. yeah big circle, big square uh, to protect the Emperor. And then what happens is so Commodus actually gets, I think he lands another blow on Maximus. It's yep. a little fatal, too, like pretty bad. Yeah. But then Maximus, they have a struggle and 
Max, uh, so, Maximus no, pulls yeah, up a... Commodus pulls out a knife, the same knife that he stabbed Maximus with earlier. Mm-hmm. He pulls a knife out of his wrist in like his little, little gauntlet there, like a secret knife in his gauntlet mm-hmm. to stab Maximus and kill him. Oh, because Commodus gets disarmed. Yeah. And, they, and then Commodus is like, throw me a sword! Throw me a sword, guards! Like, throw me a sword I can so I can defeat Maximus. And all the guards are like, sheathe no. your swords! Yeah. Don't throw him a sword. Yeah, Quintus nice. then Quintus, goes. Yeah, he's he, like, he turns sides. He's like, he's like, no, like, don't hold off. fuck you, dude. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a goddamn sword. <laughs> nice. You gotta yeah. win this battle fair and square. Yeah. So he pulls the knife out of his gauntlet and he's about That's to stab. Nice struggle. He's about to struggle. Yeah, they're struggling. Like fighting Maximus. Yeah. Oh, and then Maximus, and like, Maximus just uh, into Commodus' throat. Yeah. Maximus plunges it into his throat. Yep. And he's like Commodus choking on just, blood. And like looking into Maximus's eyes as he dies, which is just the best kind of villain death. Is just if a villain looks his defeater in his eyes and just knows that he's been defeated. It's just the best feeling in any movie, right? Maximus, I agree. Like, Commodus knows that he's been defeated. He collapses to the it's ground. So satisfying. And Maximus, he, he he's he, and then uh, Maximus defeats, and then he, and then after Commodus is defeated, Maximus turns to Quintus. Yep. and he says, "Release the rest of the yep, gladiators. Release, release the senators. Have my men released. Reinstate the reinstate like, Senator Senator Gracchus because Gracchus yeah. has been imprisoned. Yeah, mm. and as you know, Ma- Maximus has been mortally wounded. Yeah." Right. He's been yeah. stabbed in the heart. He's taken another wound from, He's gonna die. from Commodus. He collapses. Maximus collapses onto the ground. Mm-hmm. Not before talking to Lucilla, who comes no, out. No, well, he collapses onto the ground and, and then Lucilla and then runs out to him. Yep, Lucilla runs out as the beautiful Lisa Gerard score yeah. blossoms. Hello, Lucilla. Hello, Lucilla. Hello, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The most oh god, this is my favorite yeah. part of the movie where he and he's, and he's kind of coming in and out of consciousness. He's coming in and out of consciousness and, as, and, it, and so it's beige and then yep, back to in blue. his mind he's in blue and he's stroking his hand the wheat field. He's going through oh. the wheat field, which is a very lovely book ending effect to the movie. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna rewind because this is kind of a, a good line too. Is at the very beginning of the movie, he's giving uh a speech to his soldiers mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he's like like if you find yourself riding in va- in an open valley mm-hmm. with the sun shining on your face, do not be do alarmed. Not be alarmed for you in Elysium, and you are and dead, you are already. dead already. <laughs> and Elysium is the name of the song that yeah. is on the soundtrack. But that's like their afterlife. Elysium is Got like you. heaven. Elysium is the so he tells the soldiers if you find yourself riding in with Elysium, the sun on your and face, you are already dead. Yeah, yeah. Do not fear. So that's kind of a thing because so at the so while he's drifting out. Know, consciousness he's seeing but like as, his but farm even as he's dying his. maximus is honorable and he's he says to reinstate his yeah. his release his men reinstate the senators mm-hmm. bring rome back to its, its former glory mm-hmm. and he talks to lucilla i forget what he says to him to her as he died oh no yeah he's maximus is he dying says and your Luz- boy is safe your, your boy son is, safe. is safe yeah and yeah. lucilla says go to them go oh. to them oh yeah. Oh. And, this and, then, is where, and this is where I start getting goosebumps because you, you have a shot of Maximus running his hand through wheat, walking up to a, a door, a door in a wall, opening the door onto his farm, um, where his family is, and uh, he, you know, it's a beautiful shot of him walking up to his family, seeing them there in the distance, as his son runs towards him as he's dying and. The, the Lisa Gerard score is blossoming in the background and, and, you know, it's just a very emotional part. And I, you know, I lose it a lot as I'm watching this movie because as he's dying, he's he's moving back to his family. It's it's very emotional and lovely. And that's, you know, how I would like to see myself whenever I die. I want this to be for the vision of for, my for those of you life. listening Derek Sorry. Derek no. has his eyes closed he's describing he this moment for the last, like, he is so into it as he described I'm, that full scene. hence why I love this movie so much <laughs> because the the uh, uh, yeah as he's dying he's the, the I wish we could have the music playing right now because it's the best part <laughs> but if we play the music we're going to get demonetized <laughs> and it's going to be so, <laughs> oh, oh that's so so maximus dies and then lucella actually has a uh a speech a little bit of a speech and she's yeah. like 
His name was Maximus Decimus Meridius. He was, your, he was a soldier of he Rome. He was a soldier of Rome. Who will help me carry him? Oh, yeah. no. Gracchus is like, who will help me carry him? And, Honor him. Yeah. And yeah. Lucius, her son, comes. And, and they lift and him they out lift of the arena. Up, and they carry him up. And, and then, then we have another kind yeah, of we shot. Have a little after shot. Where, but we have another shot where it's like face down. You know, we told you about that shot where it's like the ground is moving behind yeah. him. He's like floating. We have yeah. another shot like that. But of it's kind of like he's floating to the sideways, afterlife. Yeah, it's honestly. a really interesting shot. It's very It's beautiful. Yeah, so the very end scene, the very last scene, the Colosseum is empty, Mm -hmm. and we see Juba Juba, uh, walk in. So Juba's also talked about his family, and Juba's now freed. All all the gladiators gladiators have been freed on the orders of Maximus. Juba's talked about how he has a wife and son, and he wants to go back to them as well. uh, No, yeah, and now we are free, which is the name of the song in the credits. Yeah, so he he goes to the middle of the Colosseum, and he has uh, the little wooden... Uh, wife and son of Maximus's mm. little prayer dolls, and yep. he puts them in the sand. He buries them in the sand, mm. and then he like, yeah, I think he says, "Till we meet again" or something. No, yeah, we will meet again soon. Yeah, but not, but not yet. yet. <laughs> yeah, which not he yet. says to him earlier. He goes, "You will not see yet. them again soon, but not yet." <laughs> yeah, because you know everybody meets in the afterlife. You know, yeah, in a perfect world where you're free from yeah the pains of gladiator combat and <laughs> and then emperor tyrant yeah. tyranny and then very it's all digital effects but we oh, rise yeah, out of the coliseum of coliseum we shot, see Rome, beautiful sunset and, then and it fades out and it just says it's directed by ridley scott and, oh. a, oh. and a lovely score by hans zimmer and lisa gerard <laughs> 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 Well, damn, boys. Oh, yes. The fin- finito Gladiator. And, you know, for some reason, they thought about making a sequel. Oh, really? Did. Yeah. Oh, God, no. There's you been speculation of a, PSP, a sequel. I mean, no thank you, you know, right? But, I mean, that's all they do now is just make shitty sequels. It's basically. a good movie. Man, it's a it's great a movie. Great that's movie. Sa- Honestly, that was, and thank you. For that journey, um, um, that is that is Gladiator. So that's yeah. freaking that is Gladiator. Gladiator. Yeah, how many stars I, do you give that star, one? Yeah, no, that's a five star. For oh me. oh yeah, damn! 100%, yeah. 100%, yeah, I yeah, I, not to bash any of the other movies that we've seen or heard so far, but like this is one I'm actually gonna 100 percent watch. Oh my god! Boom, boom. I mean, obviously, gonna it's gonna be it. less of a watch because you already know what happens, <laughs> but still. It's, yeah, but I wanna. It's I'm, good to put an image to, to the description, and mm-hmm. I want to hear the actual like Hans Zimmer, Lisa. <gasps> oh my god, Hans Zimmer and Lisa Gerard. I want it with oh. the picture. Yes. Yes. Reprise. Yep. What? Hello, <laughs> 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 On this note, you guys, thank you for watching the Haven't Seen It podcast. Listening, listening. Listening the Haven't Seen It podcast. This has been Gladiator. Join us next time for the next cinematic adventure. Check us out on social media at Haven't Seen It podcast on Instagram and uh, Big Cake Comedy anywhere else. Oh, my God.